So welcome back everyone, I'm Hexadoblo7, how the hell are you? I know I haven't been uploading as much in the last few days as I wished, but I was on the contract to grind, man. We gotta grind for that underworld camo and all those beautiful shiny new calling cards. And just when we're on the topic of community contract challenges, what do you guys think of this whole community challenge? It's it's like they're saying we have until September 2nd, COD XP to complete or else <laughs> or else what we don't get it I don't think so Treyarch you know what we'll see don't be trying to don't be trying to kid us Treyarch of course we'll get it to be honest I'm not even looking at it that much I think it's just a pile of nonsense I'm for me I'm just playing the game and enjoying it well I say enjoying it mm, sometimes but these weekly contracts OMG they can test a man's patience to no end. Now, as many of you know, I, I do seem to play solo quite a lot. I just like to concentrate and not have any distractions or entertain my friends or, or speak with my friends. No offense, guys. Um, I really do love you all, but I like to win. I'm a winner. It's, um, it's a shame my random teammates don't have the same mentality when playing Black Ops 3, especially when we're playing the OBJ game modes. And obviously last week's weekly contract was all about the winning. And for me, I was actually talking to my friend Gary about this. It can get extremely infuriating when you lose a game, especially when it's, you know, such a close game throughout. And obviously as a Call of Duty gamer, we blame everything and everyone else on the defeat of the team. It's never our fault. Don't be ridiculous, it's never our fault, it's always something else. But back to the point, the whole point of this, obviously, the weekly contracts, is to get the blackjack. And is he really worth the time spent earning it? For me, I'd say yes. I like the blackjack character. I like going into a game not knowing which specialist weapon I get within the game. That nice little added surprise when it's something good and you know what pays off once you get it as well. That's why I use the, the rogue, obviously, not the gambler, because the gambler's just a pile of nonsense. No one uses the gambler. But this week's weekly contract are absolute piece of piss. They are a right little doozy. I actually completed them in, in like one night's gaming, and obviously being a father of two kids, my gaming time is a bit more limited. So I try to do as much as I can when I do get the chance to actually get online. But this week's was, just to recap, was 25 kills with a specialist weapon and 25 kills with a specialist ability. Those were the two tokens to unlock the blackjack. Weapon of choice obviously for me was the Ripper. Playing free for all using overclock, I was pretty much average and I think like 8 per game. Some games it was actually coming out with like 10, I don't know, it was crazy. Especially on say Nooktown or Combine or something. The ability was actually overdrive because, well, I don't know, I just like to move around quickly. <laughs> I suppose I don't need an excuse to use overdrive. So, I th you know, I thought it worked well for me and you do earn it pretty quickly, especially with overclock and in free for all, it's like two kills, two, maybe three kills on average. And if you manage a few kills with the overdrive, you know, you will get them pretty quickly. So it's all good. But anyway, on to this underworld camo. It's just okay. You know, it certainly looks good enough. Not the best camo in the game, obviously. That's I do really think Dark Matter looks extremely good in this game. But hey-ho, it's free. We're not going to complain about that now, are we? Either you go for it or you don't. It's not a game breaker. I like the contract on how to get it. It's basically get 200 kills while using a specialist weapon. And that's it. You get this free camo for every single weapon and melee weapon within the game. That's good. And for me, I'm actually enjoying completing challenges within the game because for me, it keeps it fresh. Call of Duty can get a bit stale. We say this every year, but Black Ops 3 just seem to have an appeal this year to draw us back and keep us coming. And I know there's so many people within the, within the community that says this is shit, this is the worst game ever, it's going downhill. Yes, I do agree, it's slowly declining, but Black Ops 3, I think, is keeping it fresh, and I'm enjoying playing it. So, you know what? we got to hand it to Treyarch for doing something right. Every Call of Duty gets its fair share of hate and negativity, but when I'm still playing a game that's almost, what is it, like 9 or 10 months? I think it's like 9 months into its lifespan. That's got to be a positive. There's got to be something good from that. 
Anyway guys, I'm going to wrap this up as a quick little commentary. What you were watching in the background was Free For All and Empire. Obviously you know that. It was a quick little game. I think it finished at like a 6 KD, so yay for me. <laughs> Those don't come around too often, so I thought I'd bring you something a little entertaining. And yes, I'm using the VMP. I have actually a commentary coming, uh, hopefully in the next few days, talking about the VMP and my thoughts on this weapon. Anyway guys, quick little commentary. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Love you. Bye.